Yo, hit that subscribe button, guys, for the latest in boxing. Now, I'm going to quote uh, Eddie Hearn's father, former promoter, matching promoter, Barry Hearn. I have a meeting with Anthony Joshua on Tuesday and with Eddie before Eddie goes off to New York. The decision is numbers. It's a numbers game, and it's nothing to do with boxing. It's purely to do with that's what you get if you fight Alexander Povekian. That's what you get if you fight Jarrell Miller. That's what you get if you fight Deontay Wilder in England. That's what you get if you fight Deontay Wilder in America. And I don't fight, so it's your call because you're the govern. You're running the heavyweight division. The Deontay Wilder fight, if I was Anthony Joshua, I'd be leaving that for a little while. Not because I'm worried about Deontay Wilder, but at this moment in time, maybe I'm looking at 500,000 to 600,000 pay-per-view buys. In a year done properly, I might be looking at 2 million, 2.5 million pay-per-view buys. That's his decision. Now, I said to Anthony, if you had six months to live, I would say go and fight Deontay Wilder and take the most money. But if you're saying to me that you've got a legacy plan, then I'm saying let's capitalize on it properly. That's his decision and his team because I don't do the boxing, but it's a credible way of doing business. If you start letting the fans be the matchmaker, you'll end up being skint. When you talk about Anthony Joshua, I believe he's planning another eight years at the top. So if he is and he takes that view, the only thing that can derail him is getting beaten. That fear of getting beaten is what pushes him in the gym every day. The reason our meeting is starting at 2 o'clock tomorrow is so that he can fit a gym session in the morning. While he's got that attitude, I don't have a worry about anyone beating Anthony Joshua. I just have the worry over whether I'm getting the maximum amount of money for my client because that's my job. His job is knocking people out. So that is what promoter, former promoter and Eddie Hearn's father, Barry Hearn, had to say. He said something that annoyed me. He said that he's going to talk to uh, you know Eddie Hearn, his son, and, and Anthony Joshua before they go to New York. And he said it's a numbers game. He said if he was Anthony Joshua, he would advise him to leave the Deontay Wilder fight for a little while. It's basically not fight Wilder next because... He, if they wait, he's, and I quote him, he said this himself. He said if, if the fight happens right now... It would only make 500,000 pay-per-view buys. But if it happens in a year and they promote it properly, it'll probably make 2 million or almost close to 3 million pay-per-view buys. So once again, guys, as I said in the previous video, this is why I keep telling you this fight is not going to happen anytime soon. It's going to happen in like a year and a half because even Eddie Hearn's father, Barry Hearn, is saying that, they want, that he wants to wait a year. Eddie, Barry Hearn is saying he wants to wait a fucking year so that he could promote properly Anthony Joshua, his fighter in Deontay Wilder, so they make a lot of money. Like I said, boxing is a is a greedy sport. The, Barry Hearn is saying right now that if the fight were to happen right now, it'll only make 500,000 pay-per-view buys. He's greedy, so he wants it to make 2 million fucking pay-per-view buys, so that's why he wants to wait a year, a whole fucking year for this fight to fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to make some money out of it. Because obviously he's he is also runs matchroom with his son Eddie Hearn. So, like I said, guys, all this, like I said, that's why you shouldn't. Don't get mad at me when I say this fight's not going to happen now. I'm not saying this because, you know, I don't want this fight to happen. I'm saying this because fighters are greedy, man. They're greedy. And I know they're greedy, man. And they're trying to milk it. And that's why this fight's not going to happen. You heard it from the horse's mouth, mouth himself. Anyway, guys, I'm out, and thanks for watching.